So guys, a lot of you sent me emails asking if there are any properties within Lusaka for rent or already built houses that you guys could purchase. And I partnered up with this real estate company to showcase a few houses that are both on rent and for sale. So the first thing you'll see when you enter this yard is this little house. Um, I wouldn't call it a house as such, but um, according to what the realtor explained was that this little building was intended for a guard room and a change room. So the first door um, when you enter through here is where the guard would be guarding um, the yard. And then the second place is sort of a change room for anybody's house help. So if you're renting out the place, your house help would come and change their clothes in here. And they could have the option of also taking a shower before they leave. So within the yard, there are about four flats. These flats are really sizable i didn't get the exact um square feet of each house but it does have quite a lot of space um for anybody who has a little family or even if you have two or three kids so this is what the yard looks like and then over here we go into the entertainment section so they have a little villa that they built in the yard so that if anybody is interested in having like a little party or whatnot they'd be able to basically do that and over here there they made sure that they built a swimming pool area so that at least during the hot season you could sort of cool off in the pool and um have a little pool party or whatnot. So for this area in the back is a sort of change room and this is where people would be able to change from their bathing suits and then on the left hand side a bathroom so that just in case if you need to go you have a place to go. So guys, I'm not going to be showing you all of them because they're all a replica of each other. But as you guys can see, this is the front area. When you enter in, you see the little porch. Um, it looks really cute and whatnot. Um, not too much going on over there. And then you walk in through the door. The first thing that you will meet is the living room area. It's a really sizable living room. Um, very spacious this is a open concept type of situation and then when you come to this section is the dining room area and so the dining room area also is pretty big and then over here you have the kitchen which is also really spacious and as you guys can see there's a whole lot of wood um, they said that within the next two weeks they'll be done with the place when you come over here this is going to be the laundry area we'll get back to that in a bit but let's go outside and see the backyard it's very typical to not find a backyard in any rental places here in zambia so i was a little bit um taken aback when um i was told that there are backyards in these units which is a super big plus and i get why the rental uh, price is 15,000 because you're also paying for the space outside which is super great as you guys can see there's a lot of greenery and they really placed in a lot of effort in making sure that the place looked well kept and neat um, and over here is where the dining room area is gonna be and so there's like a little sliding door situation going on which is nice during the summer when it's super hot you could just open those sliding doors and let in some breeze and then over here a few plants that they planted as well which is super cute and then on the side here they made sure to 
basically leave out a space i guess if you have like a little animal or whatnot they could go to the potty over there so we went back inside through that other door and went back to where the laundry room area is and here is going to be a pantry area where you could basically keep all the laundry stuff in there and just any other miscellaneous cleaning stuff over there so guys right off the dining room area we have the guest toilet which i opted to go and check out first and basically this is what it looks like it's not yet done but it's almost done so if anybody's looking to renting out these properties they'll be done at least in the next two to three weeks and then when you go over here i'm sure you guys were wondering what's behind this door because i was wondering that too and when i opened the door it was law and behold the garage um it's a really really sizable and if you're doing any kind of diy projects or whatever this is a great sized garage and you could probably fit two or three cars in there no kidding and so on the other side of the living room area you have a guest bedroom it's pretty sizable they are going to be building with the wood that's outside over there um some built-in wardrobes so i'm sure um once they're done it's going to look really really nice and chic and then in this room um was the bathroom so this is the guest bathroom um this is basically for the other bedroom um a little you know bathroom not really little pretty sizable <laughs> um i think it has a shower i wasn't sure if they're gonna be putting a bathtub in it as well and then over here you have another bedroom um this is i think the third bedroom which was just as big as the other one um the rooms are pretty sizable to be honest and i love the windows they are something that like oh too much um and this is what the room looks like really nice and sizable and they will all be having built-in closets and then on the other side guys we're gonna be seeing the master bedroom so guys the master bedroom was extremely huge i was yeah it's it's beautiful and the windows of course are a big thing for me and then they made sure that they put a walk-in closet in this area and then this is a basically self-contained master bedroom where the bathroom and everything is gonna be We are on to the next property. Hope you guys like this one. So guys, for this next property, it is located as well in Ibex Hill, going for 9 million kwacha. And it is a four bedroomed house with a kitchen and an entertainment room. Just a whole bunch of stuff within the house. And trust me, if you bought this house, you wouldn't want to leave your house. Um, I fell in love with the house and I'm sure you guys will too. So guys, one thing that I noticed was the fact that the owners of this place have invested in solar, which is super great. Um, I personally have invested in solar and trust me, it's been the best decision ever because it saves you on having an electric bill and you save a whole lot of money to put that money into something else. So guys, on the side of the house, they built this garage, which also has a basketball court. 
um i really love the space of this garage because you can always turn it into like a little apartment later on in life if you don't want your kids to move out too early <laughs> um but yeah guys it was super spacious and i'm sure like later on they can always turn this into an area where like you have like a little apartment or even like a little man cave or whatnot so there's a lot of possibilities with this garage as well it doesn't necessarily have to stay and be a garage alone um and then i saw these cute little dogs in the yard um my heart just melted when i saw them they're super cute um and they were trying to act tough when i was trying to touch them just super super cute as well um but yeah guys this is the side of the house uh still a lot of yard space um if you're looking to building another little building in the area you could totally do that because the space there was pretty huge and then on the side here they i love this little pathway that they made um to the swimming pool this was probably the epic part about the house the swimming pool it was nice and you know i'm not really a swimmer i don't really know how to swim i'll have to learn now that i'm in africa and the climate is warm but guys this is what the swimming pool looked like oh my goodness super beautiful and then this is basically the backyard they have a little patio space over there and guys as you guys can see there's a whole lot of acs in the house of which if you do purchase this house you will enjoy the best of both worlds um right over here is just you know a little glimpse of what the house looks like from the back so guys the moment we've all been waiting for to see the actual house on the inside i really 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 loved shooting this house because it was so well done and the finishing is just so excellent and the interior design was really beautiful i'm happy that they took their time with building this house and making sure that it looked like a home so here we get in through the front door and immediately after that we get into the living room right over here um i really loved the couches they just looked so nice and as you guys can see people have been living in this house so it's not really what you're expecting but it is what you're expecting beautiful right um i love the artwork on the on the walls it's very rare that you see people investing in purchasing art here <laughs> i'm not throwing any jabs at any at anyone don't worry um over there behind the living room there are sliding doors for you to go to the backyard and then right over here is the hallway to the dining room area um the dining room area is just beautiful i love that they made sure that there was space for everything and it's not all like cluttered and super small and there's also an option of you going through the dining room area to the backyard which was super super nice as well um and the decor just fits in so well with the floors it just looks really really rich and nice So right off the dining room area, you'll turn to the left and you will find these two mint green doors and also a little sink. I think the sink is meant for, um, let's say if you're having a little bit of dinner and you want to wash your hands, but you don't really want to go to the washroom. I guess that was the purpose or then maybe because um, it didn't fit in the bathroom one of the two but it works quite well over there this is what the little bathroom looks like not too big not too small just right and then in the next door um guys i was a little shocked with what i found i thought i would find a bathroom but actually this room is where they keep their solar um inverter and everything to do with their electricals which was super super smart a separate room that you could lock and over there they have their two batteries that stores the power that is generated from the solar panels and then when you continue down the hallway you have that sliding door to the backyard and then over here is the kitchen the kitchen is so spacious 
beautiful wooden cabinets and it's just everything to be honest um i love what it looks like and i guess um i'm sure you guys also like what it looks like i'm not gonna open other people's you know fridges and stuff but i know you guys know what goes on in the fridge <laughs> and then they bought these little flowers in the centerpiece love that and then on the side of the kitchen was the laundry room area um which was super smart of them to do because it's a whole lot of work when you start putting laundry into the bedrooms and trying to fold and then in this room right next to the laundry room area is sort of the pantry where they keep all the extra stuff that they go and purchase and i'm sure they buy like food in bulk and stuff and if you're looking to stocking up your pantry this is a great pantry um for you to have um because you will ha have enough space to keep virtually anything in there it's like a whole room <laughs> And then going back into the kitchen over here. down the hallway from the kitchen you will find the two bedrooms that they have on one end of the house and these bedrooms are pretty sizable um to be honest i'm really in love with these mint green doors i've never actually seen them before but it looks really nice um right over here there's a self-contained bedroom with a toilet a shower and then a sink guest room number two or bedroom number two um was bigger than the first one um so much more bigger and i initially thought that this was the master bedroom only come to find out that it wasn't it's really really sizable and also has its own built-in bathroom which is super nice and i love these mirrors that they bought I'm gonna look for the same ones because I'm in love and obviously as you guys can see the bathroom is still pretty sizable it's just about the same size as the other one on the other side and I think there's just a wall between the two bathrooms which was super smart when it came to the plumbing situation so this is what it looks like not too complicated very very chic and nice looking when you come down that hallway back towards the living room you'll find this room which was a theater room um it was super nice and very spacious and thankfully there's ac so if you guys are watching a movie or even um decide to make it into a children's playroom area it would work just fine and then when you come down the front door there's another room um, I'm not quite sure what this room was because it had a whole lot of stuff, but I'm sure whoever decides to buy the house can even make it into another bedroom as it is spacious enough for um, wardrobes and a bed. And then when you come down the hallway, um, they made a little sitting room situation for the kids, a little play area where they could play in front of where their room is and you could hang a TV over there. And then this is the kids bedroom. So um, this was a his and her bedroom, 
um it's very very big and well planned out both of the kids beds are <laughs> very nicely placed um, for both female and male and then you have the wardrobes on the side So within the same bedroom, they do have their own bathroom. Um, it's a shared bathroom. I'm sure it doesn't really matter for the kids as they are pretty young. Um, you can always make that room fit even up to three or four kids because it was super spacious. Directly opposite to the kids room is the master bedroom. It was huge. So here's the walk-in closet. That they have over here the light wasn't working so I couldn't sort of show it um, properly and then over here you have the master bathroom which has a shower over there on that side double sinks which is bless <laughs> his and hers and then on the other side you'll see that they have the shutoff um, <laughs> that's one thing that I got also for our bathroom and then um, when you look on this other side they also have the option of you taking a bath which was super smart because guys why not have a shower and a bathtub in the same place <laughs> So as you go further into the room, guys, this is a whole apartment, to be honest. You'll find a area, like a TV area, where you can basically sit down and relax at the end of the day. Watch a little movie, you know, a little bit of Netflix and chill, R-rated adult edition. <laughs> and then um, further into the room, you have just the bed and whatnot and then they did have um these windows that looked to the yard which i really loved and then obviously another sort of closet space for more clothes and you know the ac on deck um yeah guys this is what the bedrooms looked like i really loved shooting this place because it was so serene and guys had to look out the window once more because guys that backyard is everything thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and if you like this new series comment down below what you guys thought of these two houses and i will be posting some videos and some footage on land so yes stay tuned Goodbye.